Hi everybody, uh, my name's Steph, I restore and I collect uh, vintage fountain pens um, and I'm also enjoying doing a few pen reviews which I've actually posted on YouTube so uh, if you're not seeing them why not have a look at them and don't be shy why not subscribe as well or maybe even leave um, leave a comment and if there's anything that you'd like to see um, or in a requ request then why not let me know and I'll see if I can oblige but today um, I'm doing another pen review on another of my pens from my collection and what we have here is the very very handsome um, Waterman Liaison um, this particular pen was made in France in 1994 um, and it was actually made to re replace the the Man 100 fountain pen and at the time um, this particular pen was actually the flagship the top of the range Waterman pen but for some reason which I've not actually found out yet the pen was only in production for two years and was discontinued in 1996 um, at the time when it was in production I believe there's a few colours that they actually made the pen in one being a snakeskin what they term as a cobra design uh, they also did it in an, in an orange ebonite um, as well as a a colour they, they actually called a majestic blue which is a it's quite a, quite a very nice blue actually um, and the only other one that I'm aware that they made was a, they actually made it in a green colour which I believe um, is, is quite a rare colour um, but what I'm actually showing you here today is this this black one which in the standard black I think is as I say is very very handsome um, the pen design is quite unusual um, it has a slight belly to the barrel there um, and again that, that is in the design of the pen uh, and what it also has to the end of the barrel is two coiled rings uh, two gold plated go uh, coiled rings and if we work up to the to the cap which also has these two coiled rings and if we sort of turn it round here uh, I don't know if you can actually see it let's find it for you uh, hopefully you can see it there it actually says Waterman Waterman Paris and also to the cap we have this lovely very unusual gold gold clip uh, very unusual and very distinctive and last but not least if we go to the top uh, again hopefully you can see it we have a hexagonal uh, hexagonal Waterman logo okay as I say hopefully you can you can see that as I say the Waterman Liaison is quite an unusual pen in that to fill the pen um, it has a slight twist and well let's show you inside inside the cap let's show you the nib first of all the cap is actually a snap-on cap uh, I don't know if you can actually hear this it's quite stiff and the first thing you'll actually notice here is the pen has no has no section the design design of the pen here uh, as most pens have a section just after the nib the liaison doesn't have one so what you'd actually do is actually hold it and it's actually quite a comfortable pen to hold you'd hold it behind the ring there and away you go and write with a pen uh, another thing I've not mentioned just below the um, the nib there again we have two coiled rings um, the nib is an 18 carat solid gold rhodium nib and uh, on the nib it has the Waterman Paris with the Waterman symbol okay and what we'll do is We'll just simply turn that round slightly for you so you can actually see it. It's actually a semi-hooded semi-hooded nib. Okay, 
well they, they term it as a wrap round nib actually it actually wraps around um, the feed there but uh, a very nice nib actually I personally I think they're uh, again very very nice and very handsome okay and to the back if we can show you there we have the feed okay now as I said before there's a slight twist to the liaison on filling what it has at the end here is a blind cap which we simply unscrew and by unscrewing the blind cap here what it actually does is release oops, there we go. it releases the nib there okay so there's actually a brass tube inside the the barrel there which gives it the little bit of weightiness so there's the nib there and what we do we'd fit it with the Waterman converter or maybe just a simple cartridge and what we do is simply place it back in the barrel there okay and we'd turn the blind cap you can actually see that and there's actually two little lugs which correspond on the on the nib there like so so once you tighten the blind cap there the nib just simply screws back into into the barrel so as you can see a little bit of a twist to the to the filling mechanism and then what we'd simply do is place the cap back on and as I say hopefully you can hear this there we go so it closes with a lovely snap and there we have it ladies and gentlemen the Waterman liaison now discontinued and I think if not now will become quite a rare pen for the future so there we have it I hope you've enjoyed looking at the pen as I say the Waterman liaison 1994 till 1996 um, very very handsome so I hope you've enjoyed looking at the pen as much as I enjoy owning it as I say don't be shy subscribe to uh, me other reviews go and have a look at them and if there's anything you'd like to say don't be shy why not leave a comment bye